Wow, wow, wow. That's like all I have to say at this moment in time because a uh, huge surprise here, guys. If you all had recently watched, actually I think it was the last video we put out, uh, it was my top 10 wish list games. You know what number one was? Unsettled. Unsettled by Orange Nebula. And uh, guys, this is a huge surprise gift. I can't even begin to uh, express like, I don't have words. I, I, I am so stunned and so excited. One of, one of uh, our gaming friends uh, decided to give this to me for as a, as a Christmas present. Uh, I, I'm just shocked guys. This is pretty sweet. We had a little Christmas party last night and I opened up the box. I took a peek and I was like, oh, I saw the word unsettled and I was, I just, I, I don't even have any words. So apparently, uh, this friend, this gaming friend, we actually, we actually played this game together because he backed it on Kickstarter. We played this game. <clears throat> That's how I found out that I'm pretty sure I love this game. And his brother-in-law works for Cool Stuff, Inc. And was apparently sent to Gen Con on behalf of the company to do stuff. <clears throat> so uh, our friend told his brother-in-law to basically pick up a, an extra all-in pledge of Unsettled um, at Gen Con. So he was able to snag uh, an extra copy of this at Gen Con, and here it is, guys. I, I just, I don't even, I'm just so shocked. This is awesome. Guys, this is so cool. So ba the base framework with the extra planets, we got three, four, five, and six. Uh, and, you know, if you watched that last uh, top 10 video, I talked about how <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they're coming out with another Kickstarter launch with this and other planets and who knows what else. Uh, I want to say quarter one of 2022. I think that's what I heard. And I was saying how I was going to go all in. This game is high up there for me because sci-fi, space, the art is incredible. And this also comes with uh, um, art prints. The, 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 I think this is just the, the Kickstarter pledge. Tons of art prints. The artwork is so cool. You know, it's fun, cooperative game where you're exploring these worlds. Man, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at all this stuff together. I I am so excited. Uh, so actually, last night was the Christmas party. Uh, I had to make myself wait until the next day to film this because I was like, you know, that I probably should film this for our YouTube channel. It'd be fun to see all of the unboxing of the contents inside. So I had to wait. So now it's time. It's time, guys. It's time to take a look. So let's do it now. All right. Let's look inside here. The base framework. We have all of the uh, uh, other worlds here. Five and six are over here. We'll get to those in a second. All right. But first, let's flip this over. All right. There's Luna. Oh, I'm going to have to have uh, my artist friend. Maybe paint Luna for me, because Luna is so cute. All right, so this, the base framework comes with two worlds, I believe. Here we go. Let's open it up. All right. All right, rules and procedures. I'm not gonna go through all the pages, but uh, let's just take a look at a few things here. Um, so, I mean, there's a there's a lot of uh, text here. At least it's, you know, I think it looks it looks good. But yeah, so you know, decent amount of stuff in here, and there's probably oh, well, here's an advanced um, glossary of icons and symbols. I really appreciate that. That's really nice to have. So, yeah, a bit a very large index here. All right, all right, we got some player aids. It appears, yep, nice with the, the iconography on one side. All right, so this has a bunch of trays. So let's see if you can see that. Here we go. So 
there are a bunch of trays that just stack on the top of each other. So let's take the first one off. And let's take a look. Actually, these are two, uh, yeah, no, okay, so this is um, just one board we're gonna be tracking, I can't remember, time, it, it appears, and trust. And then underneath stores, uh, so, gosh, I only played this one time and it's been a while, I'm trying to remember all this stuff. Different materials, um, data that you can do. So cubes are gonna be going in here. All right, so that's a tray. Pull out some more. All right. Okay, so another tray underneath we're gonna be putting stuff. This looks cool. All right. And then we've got two of the worlds that come with the base framework. So we got Gracchus, I believe, two level challenge. This is planet two. And then the first one is Winora. And I believe the one game I did play was of this, um, to more of an intro level. Um, okay. Now the player boards, I love the player boards. They are, I love dual layered, but they're just gorgeous. I love the color, uh, the color scheme that was chosen for this game. But yeah, so you got, you'll be putting your dice here. You'll be tracking stuff on these. You can choose your character's, uh, your head, the character's head. Um, all right, so nice player boards. All right, now we got some punch out material. <clears throat> all righty, and I believe some of this stuff is gonna be going in, into the trays. Um, yeah, so just, so here, here's some of the heads that I was uh, referring to here that you can put on your player board. Alrighty, what else do we got? I'll put this up here. All right, but now we got lots of fun goodies. All right, first, first of all, let's look at Luna. She is so cute. Yeah, I definitely want someone to paint her for me. Yes, I love Luna. And I love the dice. Well, so this, I will say this, this base, the base of the box has another tray that you can take out as well. Uh, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it in here for now and just take out some of the stuff. So let's, let's look at the dice. There are quite a few. I'm not going to grab them all, but I love the dice. They're nice and chunky and different. I, I just, I really do like the colors chosen for this game. Yes, fun dice. I love dice. And speaking of dice, we have um, a few other things. So this, I believe is going to be tracking. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Tracking something. So these are cute little, they're, they're like cute little dice, but they're not, you're not gonna be rolling them. You're gonna be tracking things with this, I believe. Uh, these, I'll get these out, cause these look really cool. I love the way these two dice look. Yes, so you can kind of see they're little, little sparkly. So you'll be rolling these to, uh, I think it's like to collect data and some other stuff um, to get cubes out on the board and uh, let's see, where is that stuff? The cubes are here. Let's get them out here. All right, so it's just some nice translucent pieces. These are cubes and these are more like crystal type of things. And uh, yep, so cool stuff. I love the components in this game. Then you have your characters here. I'll take out one to look at. Let's get out the orange one. All right, so the characters are pretty cool as well. Yeah. I love, uh, this production is awesome. And then some more little cubes and tr things to track different items with. Uh, yeah, okay, so that is uh, all the stuff in the base framework. Let me uh, get all this out of the way. And let's take a look. Oh, I forgot these fell out. Do you have these, these two large... Uh, Nice little plastic, translucent, not plastic, I don't know what the material is, but acrylic? I don't know, honestly, but they're cool. They're nice little pieces. All right, let's scoot that down. Let's take, oh, I'm gonna leave Luna out because I love Luna. 
let's take a look, a brief look at some of the, uh, the worlds here. All right, so let's look at Winora. Okay, so let's read this first. <clears throat> Let me make this closer so you can see a little bit. All right. Embrace your fungal hosts and discover mind-bending abilities beyond imagination or be absorbed forever. All right, so this comes with a lot of different stuff in it. Let's just take a brief look. Icky, sticky, beautiful. So the one game I did play, I really did enjoy the, the writing. Uh, there wasn't like a bunch of story, but I, I don't, yeah, it was just, it was kind of humorous, but it was great. Uh, so here's just a quick setup and stuff regarding this, this particular planet. Yes, the game I played, we dealt with these thingamajiggies. I don't remember what they're called, but I love the art. Oh my goodness. Uh, the art is just absolutely gorgeous. So you got all kinds of little tokens. All right, let's get this out here. Then you've got all the different like little tile places, tons of cards here. Um, let's go ahead and open. Let's see, where is the so bad at opening cards? These are all the different areas that you can discover. I'm just gonna show you real briefly just how gorgeous this is. <coughs> Excuse me. So you got the, the swamp and you, I mean, I just, I'm so excited to explore all these different planets in the worlds because the art on these are absolutely incredible. Love these. And you just have so many different, okay, floating jellies. How cool is that? Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna, and th there's like a other stuff, hallucin hallucinations, hallucinations and other things as well. And some uh, cards in regards to this particular planet. So I'm not gonna go into all the details so you can uh, possibly discover some of this on your own. Don't wanna swell any surprises or things. All right, got Gracchus here. Oh wait, I was gonna read the back of it. Let's see what this one's about. All right, discover pathways to the skies to escape violent storms and enormous creatures that haunt the surface. Yikes, creatures. So we're probably gonna be getting some uh, interesting little critters. Colossal alien life forms tower across the land. Okay. <laughs> so we're probably gonna have more of the same, um, more pretty, gorgeous arts, tokens, storm surge, uh-oh. And so for each planet, you're gonna have, you know, some little goodies like that, and then you're gonna have more of the cards applicable for this planet and some more um, of the places to discover. But I'm not gonna go through all of that. Let's just uh, look at briefly what the other worlds are about, are, are about. Let's look at planet three. I don't know how to say all these planets. Uh, what is this, Zeron? Zeron, I honestly don't know how to pronounce this. This is planet three. All right, this is cautiously explore a crystalline crypt to commune with ancient beings and access long forgotten alien memories. Cool. That is, I'm, I'm really excited about that one. This is a four level, so that's probably gonna be difficult and one I am not going to <laughs> start with. I'm definitely gonna be starting with Win Winora. All right, so that was four. Oh, no, that was three. Where, let me find, where's four? Is this four? No, that's six. Here's four. All right, four is Yendral, I believe. Uh, three out of four challenge level. All right, delve into a labyrinthian coral construct with flash floods at every turn, but tread lightly lest, your anger, lest you anger the planet itself. Flash floods. Okay. Let's, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a brief look inside this one. I'm curious about the flash floods, but I don't wanna go through all the cards because there is a tad bit of story element, so I'm not gonna go through it. Just wanna brief, briefly look inside of this one. Oh, if I can get it open, open. There we go. All right, whoops. Forged in flood. Interesting. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So I got a bunch of C 
types of things here. We got coral, uh, yeah, stuff that lives in the sea, spongy. <laughs> All right, and more, more stuff here. And of course, some more cards. I just want to look at, uh, let's look at one or two. I'm just, oh my gosh, this artwork. Very, very in love with this art. Let's just find a, okay, man, look at that. That art is incredible. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> excited to play this. Yeah, so that's a few of uh, Yendral, I believe. You, that's how you say. All right, let's find... Oh, Luna! I didn't mean to hit you. Okay, let's go to number five, which is Stranos. Another higher difficulty. Okay, this one. Let's see. Navigate a swirling mass of metallic asteroids and floating lava. <laughs> floating lava, that sounds incredible crazy held together by rampant magnetism and polarity fields yeah oh my gosh so excited okay so that is five the last one is six and that is this one i have no idea how to say uh Kelphos, sure it's a three out of four difficulty all right let's get this in frame here hunt for clues that could lead you home while being hunted inside the drifting planet-sized head of a monstrous ancient being. Wow, okay, that sounds interesting for sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, that is box number six. And then with, with this pledge, the all-in pledge, I, it also came with these art prints. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I'm just gonna give you a little little taste here of more of, the, of what could be in the storm, or not storm, gosh, the game. Uh, this looked like a storm. Uh, the Cataclysm. So this is for different planets as well. Oh man, this is just absolutely gorgeous. The Magnificent Reef. That's the Yendril, I believe. Yeah, Yendril's planet. Firebug Hollow. Well, I'm not gonna look through all these, but <clears throat> let's just say this is incredible. So that is a brief look at some of the uh, worlds and then brief look inside. Um, my favorite so far, def I love Luna. Uh, I want her to be painted. Definitely love Luna. I love the dice. The dice in here are really nice. And of course, guys, these player boards. So those three things are definitely some of my, oh my gosh, they have the art. Guys, everything is just so cool about this game. I cannot wait to play this. All right, guys, let me know if you play this yet. I'm curious of your thoughts. I've only played this one time uh, with with uh, my friend that gifted to me. He had, has a copy, and we played it. Uh, barely won, but I'm excited. So let me know uh, if you guys have played this before and what you think. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and happy gaming.